How the thermodynamics of a black hole relates to the idea of a holographic universe stated thusly. The content of all objects that have fallen into the black hole might be entirely contained in the surface fluctua fluctuations of the event horizon. So imagine the entire universe is falling into a black hole, okay? It's but it's never really fallen, you know. It's because there is it, it's the black hole is not a hole. It's not like a sewer hole that things are falling into. It's a it's a it's an infinitely de dense object that is abs that is absorbing all the lights, okay? And the lights that it's absorbing is entering through a process called speculification. It's like a, it's like a, in a spaghetti, they're, they're, they're being pulled in an infinitely thin line. And this infinitely thin line ultimately ends up around the event horizon, which is, which is just ultimately the circumference of a black hole or the last point between a thing entering into a black hole and still remaining outside of the surface of the black hole into the three-dimensional um, reality which discloses all objects in our observable universe. And so the idea of a hol holographic universe finds its essence in the, in the notion that the entire universe is ultimately disclosed around the circumference of the black hole within the event horizon. And, and how could this be? Or what does it mean? For What does that mean? You know, what does it mean for, it, for for the universe to be disclosed entirely within the event horizon? The meaning of it is quite profound, actually. It's exactly profound in the same way as how profound a black hole is visually when we observe it out in space. Because we don't, we do not ever see a black hole. A black hole is never actually seen. And, 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 and this idea of an of a event horizon is ultimately theoretical. Um, but it is true, but it's not observed. It's, it's just the logical conclusion, or rather the inverse of what is actually observed in space, what, what, we, what we actually see as black holes, because we don't, we don't see black holes. We don't even really see event horizons. We see that there is a distortion around an infinitely dense mass, we call this gravitational lensing, where if we look out into a cluster of stars, we see that the form and shape and figure of galaxies and stars and nebulas are distorted around some kind of infinitely large sphere. And so the black hole is always behind the image that we observe. We never really observe a black hole. We always we always know its, we always know its existence indirectly by it being the constant point behind any observable object. And so anything we observe, the black hole is behind it. And the circumference of the black hole ultimately discloses it discloses within it what is observed as the real universe. And if you want to get an image of what this looks like, Google fish eye lens, um, fish eye lens cameras actually, ironically, uh, depict a pretty good, let's say, image of what this might look like.